Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys how to edit a photo in Lightroom. So I chose the photo. I've already edited edited this photo um, before, but I'm going to edit it again just to show you guys. Um, so this is my beautiful model, Hannah, and what I'm going to go for is a background to match her dress, because um, I don't really like the green contrast with that. I just want to change it up a little bit. So, I don't like how dark it is, so I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. Um, and then, usually I wing this stuff. I never really have a specific way of doing things. I'm going to change the tint, moving it to the right a little bit. Now our skin, skin is starting to turn a little bit pinkish purple, but that's okay because once we get the background changed to a pinkish purple, it will look okay. Um, so I'm going to take the adjustment adjustment brush, come down to, or go up to color, and here you can change the color to whatever you want. Now it's already set on that pink that I had used yesterday, so I'm going to keep it there. You could change it to whatever color you want. And then you're just going to paint around. And it's fine if you paint somewhere you don't want to, like on her face or on her dress, because you can always go back and erase it. So I'm going to take my eraser brush, change the size a little bit, and just erase off her dress because I went over it, and just in case I want her hair or shoulder. Okay, and to get back to it, the color brush, you press A right here, and that takes it off the eraser. And I noticed that I erased a little too much on the arm. Make sure to look closely near her body that you don't miss anything because um, sometimes it's hard to tell from far away sometimes you might need to zoom in to make sure you got all the areas so after we get that done we're going to go back to the tint don't click done which is down here don't click that yet because then you can't go back and change the color stay in the color mode and go to tint and increase it and that makes it very pink. Um, and then I'm just going to experiment a little bit here and see what bringing it down to cold does. Okay, that brings it down really purple. Let's bring it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to keep it around negative 10 on the temperature. Um, let me think. I put up the clarity just a little bit to around 20 just to make that background pop and bring the saturation down just a little bit and then click done now I'm going to go back and increase the tint again so that her face, oops not that much so that her face and skin tone match the background a little bit better now I'm going to zoom in a little bit, a lot, and I'm going to go back to my adjustment, adjustment brush and go to soften skin. And I'm just going to soften her skin a little bit, just to make it smoother. Make sure not to go over the eyes or the eyebrows. And then I'm going to, you, if you notice on the softened skin option, the clarity is all the way down. And that means the lower it is, the softer the skin. And I want to increase it a little bit just because I don't want it to look overly smooth. So I always increase it just a hair. And then done.
Now I want to do that again by the chin. Let's go over it again. And around the eyes. And increase that clarity again so it's not as smooth. Then I go back to the adjustment brush and go to iris enhance. Now you can change the eyes in two different ways. You can do iris enhance or you can use the dodge and burn tool. You can use the dodge to line up the catch light and use the burn to darken like the ring of her eyes or the pupil of her eyes. So you can do it that way or use the iris enhance. I do both depending on what I'm feeling. Um, so I just do the whole eye. Make sure not to do the actual white of her eye because it will look overly done. I actually got a little bit on the white, I think. Just erase that. Go back to A. And I'm going to zoom out. Um, and see how our eyes look. And I might increase the exposure a little bit just to make them pop a little bit more. So there's that. I'm going to increase the contrast just till around 10 and then decrease the saturation. See how that looks. Gives it more of that darker gray tone. And then I'm going to increase the clarity um, between 20 and 30. Maybe around 20. And then I'm going to think for a little bit on what I need to do. Um, I might go to her dress, use the adjustment tool, exposure, no, just kidding, burn. Make her dress a little bit darker, just because it looks a little too bright against this background. So I'm just going to burn that. And you can change how dark or light you want this to be over on the right hand side. You can change all that. And I like how it is right there, so I'm going to keep that. Um, and then yesterday I was just playing around on the Lightroom presets, and I noticed that I kind of liked how Vignette 1 looked. It just darkens the corners a little bit, um, and I just like that for a more mysterious look. Um, now I'm going to look at the before and after, Oops, go away. which is right down here on the bottom, the two pictures that look like Y's. You can click that and you can see the before and after, and if you keep clicking it, it shows you different versions on how to see it. Um, since it's a horizontal photo, I like to view it with one on bottom, one on top. Um, so I like the before and after, and I'm just going to see what it looks like if I increase the exposure a little bit. Nope, don't like it. Never mind, I'm going to go back down. And I think that's all I'm going to do for this photo. Um, so let me show you the before and after again. Uh, I really like the before and after. I like how I figured out how to change the colors, um, and I hope this helped you too. Uh, hopefully I will be doing more photos like this where I'm changing the backgrounds. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it and that I helped you. Bye.